one. Three, two, one. Right. Um, thank you. Hello, everyone, and good morning. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Stuchi Precious Friday, and I'm a founding member of the Igbo Wikimedian Suiza Group, as well as a Wikipedian in residence at the Moleskine Foundation. Um, just first of all, I want to thank everyone for making out the time to join the session this morning from my end, as well as um, thanking the Wikimania team for selecting my presentation. Okay, today I'm going to be talking about, um, I'm going to be speaking on a topic, building international corporations, lessons from Afro curations. So you just give me a moment to kindly share my screen. Right. Okay, so um, I'm going to be giving you an intro, which is a brief overview of the Afro Curation um, event, our main format, the main elements who we are, um, the collaboration examples from the Afro Curation event, our achievements from the various collaborations, and um, a whole lot of others. If you can see my screen, I don't know if you can recognize um, the image on the screen. This is um, data obtained from Wikipedia in November 2011. This is and an image of geotagged articles on the English Wikipedia. And um, this is from Mark Graham and um, a couple of others. So this shows you um, the various representations like article representations on the English Wikipedia. The dark parts shows that there are no at much articles coming from this site. And then you can also see the African continent has so much of the dark um, site. Now the next is the Afro curation and why it started, what it's all about. So this um, issue of no much articles coming from the African continent um, led us to the Afro curation project, why it started. And this is simply because if you've heard, you must have known that there are even more articles on the city of Paris in France than um, Africa as a continent itself, which um, led us to the Afro Curation project. Now the Afro Curation, uh, which is our main format of trying to bridge this knowledge gap is um, an event or a mass Wikipedia editing sessions where articles are written, improved or translated. It's not like um, the normal edited tone. Afro Curation events, are um, they create a context of creativity, knowledge and activism where participants can deliver on the aims of knowledge production. So when we finish this, the immediate and tangible output you can find from every um, Afro Curation events are Wikipedia entries on African content by young Africans under um, a curated team itself and with a focus on using African languages. Now, um, I'm going to give you just one feedback from one of the participants of the Afro Curation. And she said, Afro Curation made me feel empowered, made me have the realization that representation is vital and our languages also have a place to be documented for future generations. And this is coming from um, Precious Tatan, she's from South Africa. The main elements for the Afro curation events were curatorial teams. That's to say that for each Afro curation event that takes place, there has to be a team for the um, event. And then we had cultural partners. And like I said, Afro curation events were not just um, normal edited tones. We had cultural partners and we had um, um, specific event teams. So the event should have a specific team. And then we had articles listed and reference lists as well. We had media communities participating. Um, we had inspirational speakers. They, they come up to give the participants more enthusiasm on why they should edit Wikipedia and also tell their um, stories, the stories of Africa. We also had youth participants as well, and we had prizes and we had the dashboard. So these were the main elements of um, every Afro curation event. For 2021 and 2022, um, 
we had Afro curation event series. There were five of them, and it was on the team of who we are. The, the goals of that project were to create at least um, 300 new Wikipedia articles, um, which would involve five cultural institutions. Cultural institutions um, were made up of um, museums, um, galleries, publishing houses, um, institutions like tertiary institutions, and so on and so forth. And then deliver the Afro curation format. Um, we also wanted to create knowledge across 10 African languages, of which one should be a new um, language added to um, Wikipedia. And then we wanted to inspire and build the capacity of about 300 new contributors to become knowledge producers themselves and not just consuming the knowledge which were already produced. And we also wanted to build the capacity and support of 20 movement organizers in the 10 um, African targeted languages. That we had events across Mozambique, we had events in South Africa, we had two events in South Africa, we had an event in Zimbabwe, and then we had one event that had um, a combination of three partners, which were the Politecnico di Milano in Italy, we had um, um, the TWI community user group from Ghana, and then we had the Wikimedia, um, Wikimedia Tanzania, they were the um, partners for that event. Now, this is um, a short video. Let me see if it's going to play. Just give me a moment, let me check the video. Okay. All right, this is supposed to be a short video made um, by Luando Zasso. She's from South Africa. She's a lawyer from South Africa. And she talked about the Afro curation series itself, the story of who we are. It's just a one minute video. Can you please um, pay attention to this? To declare who we are, now, who we are as a search is a discovery and testimony. It is a gift not just for ourselves, but our coaching. It is a meaning that we have for ourselves. It's not ironclad, it's valuable and evolving, with each generation molding itself the way it wishes to be seen, not for the other, but for themselves. Who we are stands the breath of all words and all our languages, both dead and alive. It is in our unresolvable tensions and agreements. It is both fleeting and entrenched. It spans the breadth of extremes across darkness to light, and it is human. We declare who we are in honor of those who are never asked and who would deny the power to declare themselves. Thank you. So this was in partnership with Constitution Hill, Ethali Publishing, um, the Wikimedia Foundation itself being a funding partner as well as um, other partners. All right. This is an image of the um, participants, a cross section of participants of the Afro Curation Project from the National Gallery of Zimbabwe, which um, took place in February this year. Then um, this is also an image of um, participants from the Afro Curation event in Zimbabwe as well. We, we had two days events in Zimbabwe. Now the Who We Are Afro Curation series for 2021-2022 was in partnership with um, Wikimedia Foundation, Fondazione Aurora. Our Afro Curation events um, were engaging in five communities on the continent and linking some members of the diaspora as well. Um, there were people from China, there were people from Taiwan, there were people from um, various parts of Africa and also various parts of the continent, including um, Europe itself that wanted to contribute to the story of Africa in their own languages. Knowledge was um, created responding to the um, curatorial team of who we are. There were 200 participants across, um, 234 participants across the five um, projects, and they were mainly between the ages of 25 and from various communities on the continent, as well as off the continent. We had over 970 articles, and they were created in 13 languages, which included um, 10 African languages and um, 
Chinese, um, Italian, and some other languages from other places as well. Now, these are um, stories, or should I say, these are various aspects of the international corporations that we had, the various lessons. Through the afro creation event, we observed a great number of collaborations. And these collaborations were between the students and the young people. So for instance, in the Polytechnical event, we had pair learning, we had, um, um, we had examples of article productions where students collaborated to add one article, um, like one article title in two different platforms. So let's say, um, take, for example, an article on Chimamanda Adichie was written in a particular language in Wikipedia and also in Wikidata. So they were collaborating to write about one thing, but in various platforms. There was also cross-language collaboration where they worked together to make one article available in different languages as well. So there were people writing in Chinese, there were people writing in Fossa, there were people writing in um, Wolof, and they wanted to make just um, knowledge about one thing available in various languages. There was also encouragement and teamwork across participants' um, communities. We observed they encouraged one another, even when they were in different continents. Some of the um, events were online, and we noticed that they encouraged one another. During the ALA event, which is the African Leadership Academy event, we noticed student leaders, some were just um, rallying around on their own um, to assist others. They were teaching one another on how to do things. These are images of um, the different participants from different continents. Some were Egyptians, some were from Ethiopia, some from Algeria. Then during the Mozambique event, which was online, we saw participants helping each other to answer technical queries, giving language support, and also finding translations from specific words. So you hear people, how do you say this in um, Makua? And then you get to um, hear different feedback and support from others. Now, when it comes to partners, the collaboration we saw um, through the partners, we noticed that Afro Curation taught us that being a part of a community makes us feel as though we're part of something greater than ourselves. And it also gives you the opportunities to co um, connect with people and to reach for goals that are outside of your own reach as an individual, but achieving them um, collaboratively. Now, a Mozambique event, the highlight of that event was the cultural reflection se um, session, which was led by the Fondazione Aurora CEO, Mata Zaki. Students were led to a session of um, introspective questions about their participation in the event to help reflect on the experience and the importance of um, the Afro curation. And during the curatorial st um, statement video, having a clear team as well for partners to react to was also very important and crucial. And we got to see the different um, partners making in videos and giving curatorial teams for the event itself. The statement and video from Luando Zaxo of um, Constitution Hill helped to connect each partner to our vision. It simply meant that the video was not meant for South Africa alone. It helped the other partners to connect to the team of events. During the Polytechnical event, there was a pre-Afro curation event to meet each other and break down the team. We, it, it became something we learned was very important during the series. And one of the biggest, uh, best ones was was the biggest effort put in and largest payoffs and result was that of Politecnico di Milano where um, Professor Anna Barbara unpacked the concept of um, behind the Africa designs features. That was um, the theme for the Politecnico event. And she did it with so much clarity and ease that all groups, including people from Tanzania, people from Ghana, were able to engage and understand the team clearly. <coughs> Um, achievements from the various um, collaborations. We had digitization of language and cultures. The international cooperation between Moskin and the partners, students and pairs in Afro curation brought about digitization of um, the endangered language, Emakwa, in Mozambique. Emakwa was a language spoken by 7 million people and it had no digital footprint. So it made it um, kind of difficult to see anything written about the language online but